guess what? We're outside my window right now. It just started raining. It was really starting to look like autumn. And there's a tree out there that's all yellow. It's pretty. Um, so, we are almost at two weeks since surgery. 12 days. And um, things are almost going perfectly with one little problem, but I'll get to that in a minute. We'll talk about the good things first. Um, ever since surgery, my weight has been dropping. This is such a good thing because um, my weight doesn't usually drop. It doesn't, um, you know, let's, so it's been close to, I'll go to just turn nine. So close to 10 years ago, I got pregnant with her and my weight skyrocketed. And it stayed up ever since. Um, so it's exciting to get on the scale every day and it's just plummeting. Who knew? Who knew? Um, there. Well, this is this leads back into the story. But there's this T-shirt that Donald's been wanting to get for Elizabeth. Not really, but he's just joked about it. And it's got that handicap symbol on it, like you would see on a handicap parking. And it says, "I'm only in it for the parking." And let me tell you, we're not only in it for the parking, but it's a great perk. We love our handicap parking placard. <laughs> so, um, back to what I was saying about losing weight. Uh, I was talking with my sister. I can't remember if it was her or I, but one of us said, like, I should need a shirt that says, I'm only in it for the weight loss, you know? If I have a spinal surgery, but I get the perk of having all this weight drop, it's a pretty good thing. So I'm really happy about that. The other good thing is, um, in the past few months, since I was, you know, before surgery, I was really getting deformed. My back was not only was I hunched over, but it was I was really crooked this way, and the, my lower back it was just all hunched, really strange, and it was really unattractive. And I was always, I was just wondering if I was going to get a normal shape again. It was hard to imagine. When you're all deformed, it's hard to imagine looking normal again. Well, this week, I've started getting a normal shape, like a womanly shape, like pretty curves. And it makes me very, very happy. So you have this happy thing is going on again, so that's good. Um, so yes, weight loss, getting my pretty curves back. These are good things. Um, the more difficult things that I've been dealing with, um, obviously my limitations right now, are hard to deal with because I'm usually a go 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 kind of person and I like to be busy and I like to be productive and right now I have to just um, really take it easy sit not push myself I move like a robot you know because I can't twist I can't twist and I can't bend at all um, can't lift anything so in my life that makes a big it's a big impact on you know, how I function, especially with Elizabeth. That's been the hardest part, and I feel bad for her because I think she wonders why her mother doesn't hold her anymore, doesn't pick her up anymore. There's, I can't do much. Um, I haven't changed a poopy diaper in two weeks, though. <laughs> oh, that's kind of nice. Anyway. Um, but it's hard. You know, Jennifer, we have a very carefully planned out schedule. Jennifer comes over in the morning, gets her out of bed for me, puts her on the floor. Just a minute, Lorelai. I'll be there in a minute. And then she'll stay. She has to stay put because I can't move her. So she has to stay put until somebody else comes back for her. Yes, Lorelai. Close the door. I'll be back in a minute. Go on. Go on. Go back to your room. I'll call you out in a minute. Mom, I just want to use some dress up so I can in my room, okay? Keep this door closed and you may. Thanks. Sorry. The busy place. Um, so what was I saying? Oh yes, yeah, so she has to stay put and then Jennifer goes and does what she needs to do and she'll come back and get her in her wheelchair for the bus and then when I go pick Elizabeth up from school, uh, you know, the therapists and things at the school put her in the car for me and Jennifer has to meet me back at the house, get her out of the car and so I feel really helpless. I can't do anything um, much. So Elizabeth, I feel bad, just has to sit on the floor and um, I can't do anything. I can't play with her, I can't pick her up, and I, she's been really fussy, and I think she knows something's different. Um, but it's what you have to do to get better, so I'm going to do it, and I admit um, that I've watched a lot of House Hunters lately. 
a lot of house hunters. <laughs> so there are a lot of people that think I've been doing too much, pushing myself too hard. It's not the case. I sit and I watch house hunters and Project Runway. <clears throat> so um, the other thing that happened this week that I wasn't expecting was that um, on Friday, I um, all of a sudden I noticed over and over I started feeling this strange tingling, aching, numbness kind of in my legs and I was really freaked out. I was like, I thought I'd messed something up and then I was never going to be the same again and maybe I won't, but I don't know. Apparently what I hear is this could be, it's the nerves healing themselves because they were d damaged from um, the disc in my spine, you know, pushing on them. So I hope these are all good things, good feelings, even though it doesn't feel good. It's not painful because I know pain now and we're not going to call it pain, but it's definitely uncomfortable and um, and I'll just deal with it. I've kind of learned what sets it off, what makes it get that horrible feeling, um, certain ways I, I, if I sit and things, it sets it off and I get, it's kind of that feeling you get when you wake up in the middle of the night and you've been like laying wrong on your arm or something and it's just tingly and weird. It's not really a great feeling, but I can't complain because this is so much better than what I was dealing with two weeks ago. So if this is the trade-off, having tingly, weird, achy legs, then I'll take it. It's much, much better. But I still have high hopes that it's just part of the healing process and that it won't last forever, that those nerves in my spine will heal themselves and I will be completely whole once again. But I'm um, still walking great, still standing tall, still feeling really, really good. So that's what's going on with the recovery. On a different note, I had the best idea this week for Elizabeth's Halloween costume. And I was trying to decide if it should be a surprise or not. And I decided, I was too excited about it, I have to share. She's going to be a, she's going to be a neurosurgeon. She's gonna, we're gonna have a little doctor's outfit on her and she's gonna have like her scrubs and her little, you know, like surgical cap and her stethoscope. Very fitting for her, I think. <laughs> It's gonna be so cute. Hopefully in pink. I want her to be a pink surgeon. It's gonna be cute. And um, the other girls were getting their Halloween costumes ready too. Only a few weeks away, so we gotta hurry. And um, Donald and Jennifer and I have something great planned. So, be prepared. It's gonna be fabulous. All right, um, have a great week. We'll talk later. Ciao.